In this video, I'll explain the difference between compound lenses and stock lenses. First, we prepare the image using Image R. Since the image is only about 1000 pixels, we upscale it using the Enhance feature. Upload your image, select a multiplier, and the enhanced image will automatically download. Next, we return to the Image R main page and upload the enhanced image. Because we're engraving, we select grayscale mode. For the compound lens engraving, I set the DPI to 318. I use the Casia Wood algorithm and deactivate the Sharpen and Denoise options under one touch. Then click Run. The image is already much more detailed, but we further refine it using the color correction feature under Advanced Options to fix overly dark or damaged areas. The image now looks fantastic, with all necessary details clearly visible and much sharper than the original. Finally, we increase the gamma value to ensure that areas like the eyes and teeth appear bright white without introducing artifacts. Download the image in PNG format using the download modal. The first image is now ready. I then repeat these steps for the second image, with one difference. For the stock lens, I set the DPI to 212. Since the rest of the process is identical, I'll speed through this part. Now we open the laser software, Lightburn in my case. Since the compound lens is currently installed in my laser, we'll engrave using it first. I create a rectangle with the same dimensions as the image, positioned both in the center of the workspace and use the following settings on my 80 watt CO2 laser. Be sure to enable the pass through option. We're engraving the image on untreated birch plywood. To minimize scorch marks, we use air assist during engraving. Afterward, I use a brush to remove any residue or dust. The result looks stunning and is truly eye catching. Thanks to the compound lens, the individual dots are barely visible. Next, we switch to the stock lens for engraving. To do this, we remove the lens head and use pliers to take out the screw. As you can see, the compound lens setup contains two lenses, a darker lens with a short focal length made of PVD and a lighter lens with a longer focal length made of CVD. For cleaning, I use 99.9% .9 isopropyl alcohol. The stock lens I'm cleaning now has a focal length of 50.8 millimeters, which falls between the compound lens focal lengths. This results in a larger dot size during engraving, but provides greater depth for cutting. After cleaning the stock lens, I place it along with the spacer into the lens holder and secure it with the screw. I then reattach the lens holder to the laser, ensuring the air assist is connected. Using a scrap piece of wood, I create a ramp to determine the optimal focus for the stock lens. By cutting a series of lines, I identify the narrowest point of the cut and measure it with calipers to determine the ideal focus distance. Once the material is secured, I use the calipers to ensure a consistent distance across the entire workpiece. I then position the image and rectangle in the center of the workspace and apply the same engraving settings as before. The image is again engraved on untreated birch plywood. Despite using the stock lens, the result is fantastic. When comparing the two results side by side, it's clear that the compound lens produces finer details. However, the stock lens has its advantages, particularly for deeper cuts. Ultimately, the best lens for your project depends on your specific application and goals. I hope this video sheds some light on the topic of compound lenses, and I look forward to your questions and feedback. Have a great day.